I currently have just 69 coins. I'm giving myself 24 hours using any means necessary besides spending money to make over a million coins. The clock starts now. Now I can't do anything with zero coins, so we immediately have to unload everything and anything that's stuck in our binder. Anything left over that I've had from a long time ago has got to go. I'll check the market prices, see what we can get from an 80 to a 95, what our break even is if we were to snipe, as well as the price we can sell each card for. The good news is we have several cards that actually go for a decent bit. A Roger Craig here, a Devontae Adams, a Brian Dawkins, as well as several Several team builders that I had built way long ago before I stopped playing Madden earlier this year. Now clearing out all these cards, everything elite that I have all the way down to 80 overalls until we hit our max auction limit of 20 cards posted. And we haven't even listed every single card within our binder yet. So now I've got to immediately hop into solo challenges. Under the Muttmas Eve solo string, we get not only ornaments, we get snowflakes, we get a 78 plus overall player as well as 285 plus overall auctionable players. We may get really unlucky and only pull 85s from those, but these are chances that at this point in this challenge, I'm going to have to take and hope that there's just a little bit of luck on our side. Unfortunately, it's a lot of stars, 220 stars to get that last 85 plus. So it's going to take some grinding. The quicker I get started, the quicker we can start pulling our rewards. So I do, and I grind, and I grind some more. And I grind some more. And I grind some more. These solo challenges took what felt like four ever. Now there are other zero chill solos that I'm gonna want to complete, but before I got them done, I actually managed to back out at the hour mark and seen that all 20 items that we had listed on the auction house that currently existed in our binder had sold. Now is a great opportunity to start listing the rest of those items, as well as we didn't actually get all the way to 20 again. We want to make sure that as we're completing solos, we have the max amount of cards that are able to sell and that are sitting on the auction house. So for the time being, we're actually going to go back into the auction house. We can spend a little bit of coin Coins to make some coins by sniping and flipping cards. Now, I know everyone's re-rolling that 85 plus zero chill pack. They want to post to the auction house and get their coins as fast as possible. So that's the program that I wanted to focus my filter on. Then I put in all players, quality elite, and then a C in the letter sorted by newest, and we were getting 59 minutes. Not only that, we were getting extremely fast refreshes. These 85 overalls were getting posted for 3,000, for 5,000, for 4,000. Extremely low prices because I was turning around and selling them for 88 to 8,900 coins on the other end, which is a massive profit for cards that were posting extremely quickly. It's about quantity, not just quality. I also found some pretty good 91 overall snipes, some pretty good 89 overall snipes, a few 87s. Immediately, this filter was hitting and I knew it was going to be good. I didn't expect it to be this good, but we hit our auction limit very, very quickly. This only took me it's like 10 to 15 minutes. Now it was time to hop back into our solo challenges and finish the Mutt Miss Eve solos. Well, spoiler alert, I didn't get to finish them this night. It was already late when I started filming and it was time to go to bed. So I posted the rest of the cards from my binder that I hadn't already posted. And when I woke up the next morning, they had sold. We had about 12 hours remaining and we were about a third of the way to our goal, a little over 350,000 coins made. Although I've been saving up the cards that I've been earning from the rewards from the solo challenges strings that I've been doing. Let's get back to the auction house. Let's figure out our prices since it's a new day and let's go snipe some more cards using a very similar filter. And we found 20 more cards that we were able to flip those 85 overalls. Again, were not only lucrative, but they were extremely quick. Now I still have one string left of the Muttmas Eve solos to do. This is about 20 solo challenges. I grinded my way through that. I hop back out into the menus. We've gotten a ton of ornaments from doing this as well as we start to level up. It's not a massive amount of coins, but you get 10,000 here. You get 20,000 there. Maybe you get a collectible here. I repeated this cycle over and over again until we finished all of the solo challenges from Zero Chill, Mutt Miss Eve, as well as Winter's Tale. Now, the Winter's Tale solos, not only do they reward snowflakes, they also reward random presents. I did a little bit of YouTube watching. I saw that presents could be good. We also got more ornaments to be redeemed into the sets, as well as leveling up more than we were before, getting us more coins again and more rewards for the level up progression. At this point, I'm a little nervous. We're at about
about 400,000 coins. I've done a ton of solo challenges. We're not gonna get another 600K in the next four hours. That's right, we only have four hours left at this point just doing what we were doing. But the good news is we have our rewards from all the solos we've done before. So now it's time to open those up. Fingers crossed that we get some decent cards because we need them. Let's get to it. We also get a fantasy pack here, a superstar champion fantasy pack. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Okay, good. These are auctionable tradable cards. Since they're 89s and they're old cards, I'm gonna assume they're all going for the same price roughly, but I do know that Buda Baker just got a new card. So we're gonna end up going with him at strong safety. Don't know if that's the most expensive one. Six on open packs. So versus a 78 plus, we're just rooting for a high card. That's really it. There's nothing that's valued way more in any of these. So we're just hoping for a high card. I will happily take an 87 overall. So if we can get 87s, 89s, 90s, that's not good. 89 Taylor Rapp, gonna be like 35K. So that's decent. Small present, not good. So that's gonna be a 86 overall Juju, another small present. This is gonna be a legend player. It's going to be a 90 overall Leonard Davis. Not a terrible card, but not great. It's only about 60,000 coins. Medium present, okay. Well, we didn't get any large presents. That kind of stinks. Wasn't expecting any of the like extra large ones, but that real, oh, that really stinks. Using the ornaments we got from the solo challenges, we were able to create five of these 85 plus overall packs and then two of the 78 plus overall packs. These packs, there's also a lot at stake because if I pull good cards out of these, this can essentially put me over the edge, put me close to a million, but I'd have to get really lucky, essentially pull like a 95, which I don't even know if they're still in packs. So our second 78 plus is an 83 overall. We're in desperate need of really good pulls here. So 91 CJ Ham, that's a great start. We're definitely getting closer. We'll open up our next one here. Not a limited, but what is it? 93 Brandon Williams. That's really, really good. That's like a hundred and something thousand coins. We could be close after this if we get two more really good pulls here. I don't know what we're gonna be at, but we gotta be close. 87 Quan, it's not an 85, so I'll take it. Give me something over a 90. Give me something over a 90 to end this off. Come on, 87 Riley Reef. So no 85s in there. I'd say those four were definitely a success. The 91 and 93 is pretty big. Now I'm also sitting on over 70,000 snowflakes. I know how good the 85 plus reroll has been, so that is exactly how we're going to spend them. Hopefully, we can get a little bit lucky here as well. I'm gonna try to roll a couple, see if we get anything good. Maybe we can pull a 93, which I think might put us like really close to a million. We're on our way right now, waiting for those cards to sell, but we'll be able to pull one more, one more here, which I'd say 287s isn't like an L per se, but it's definitely not a huge dub from this. Uh, and an 89 Eric Tomlinson. We made another 70 to 80,000 coins there just from those snowflakes. So I'd say that's definitely not an L. It could have been worse. Could have pulled 385s. After selling all those cards, we were up to over 850,000 coins. We don't have much left, but first I need to check if everything sold for my binder. Remember, we did that almost a day ago. It's been over 20 hours since then. There's also some power-ups that are going for a decent bit. So that's exactly what we're going to look for. We're going to go through our binder and find anything remaining that sells for over a thousand coins and post it. Now, if we weren't under three hours at this point, I probably wouldn't be doing this, but it's important because we're literally sitting on coins. Little did I know we found some hidden gems in here. A couple power-ups that went for like 20,000 coins. Now, I want to finish it off, but I don't know if we necessarily have time to sit there and snipe through the auction house to get three to 4,000 coins at a time. After going through all those power-ups, it took almost a full hour. We're under the two-hour mark. Now, I want to try to go find and build some team builders. We can sell those for 16,000 a piece and build them for 6,000 coins. I already have the high golds. All I need is the 80 overall elites to put into these team builders, and we can sell them for 16K. That's a 10K profit. That's enough time to sell the cards. Let's get to it. Went to the auction house, found some 80 overalls for around 2,000 coins, made two team builders, and once we made the team builders, we immediately posted them to the auction house, but we're so close, boys. We're so close. Less than an hour to go. We need these cards to sell or we're not gonna make it. The time is counting down. The clock is ticking. Will any of these cards sell at this point? I didn't know until finally we back out. We refresh and there it is. It sold! Something sold for like 8,000 something coins. And we did it. We made a million coins in under 24 hours. Less than 40 minutes left. We came in at 23 hours, 22 minutes, and 14 seconds. Zero coins to a million, just like that. If you're wondering if you can make coins in this game or not, you can, and I just showed you. Now I've got to go upgrade my team, but in the meantime, I borrowed a Bears theme team and did a fridge at fullback exclusive video check it out right here boys i know you're gonna like it